I saw this question on YouTube, and uh, I have a different methods, two methods. So I would like to share with you. Now, given this, given f of a sine two x is tangent x, find f of x. First, well, I I want to uh, add a, a restriction condition for the domain because this one is infinity when x is a half power, right? Yeah, therefore x is not equal to half pi plus n pi. So I want to add this one to the domain of this function. Okay, then I start the method. The method is, uh, well, it's uh, very clear that my idea is Well, this is sine x, cosine x. F of a sine two x is equal to tangent x. Now I want to change this in terms of a sine two x. Then my function is found. You know, it's a it's a very clear goal that I want to change this one in into an expression of a sine two x. But we know that sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. So sine x is equal to, uh, is sine x is equal to sine 2x, right, over 2 cosine x. See? So I find that this one is equal to I replace this one by this is a sine two x over two cosine square x. Right? Yeah, this one replace sine x. And uh, it's very easy that this is a sine two x. This is a this is a one plus cosine two x, right? Two cosine squared is equal to this. Very easy. This is a sine two x. This is one plus a square root one minus a sine square two x. So I found the function. I've I found the function, right? Sine or f of a sine two x is this. Therefore, f of x is equal to x over 1 plus square root 1 minus x square. See? Could be done very easily. The only thing left of that, we usually, we don't like the denominator has a, has a root, has a square root. That's easy. We rationalize it by multiply by one minus the square root one minus x square one. One minus square root one minus x square root. So this one is equal to x one minus one minus square root. This time this one it becomes one minus one minus x square. Right? So this one is equal to x square x one minus one minus x square. So this one is equal to x one minus square root one minus x square. Yeah, this is this looks better. But overall, you know, this is not a difficult question. You know, you must you must be clear that what is what is what do you want the ideas in the beginning? Okay, this is method of one. Method of two. Uh, method of two. F of a sine two x is a tangent x. Well, I have added the condition right. X is not equal to half pi plus n pi. 
Now, the second uh, uh, second method. I I want to introduce a, a function which is a y equal to sine to x. Therefore, my given function is f of y is equal to tangent x. I, I know that the dy dx is equal to 2 cosine 2x, right? Yeah. Now, if I, if I differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to x, then this is a composite function. We need a chain rule, right? So this one... Uh, df dy times dy dx is the derivative of this with respect to x. That is this. Well, this is equal to seeking square x. And I know that dy dx is this. Therefore, df dy is equal to seeking square x over uh, 2 cosine 2x. Now, from here, the idea is very clear that I won't change this one into an expression of a y, so I can find a y by integrating with respect to y. Right? Yeah, well, we, I just walk toward, work towards that idea. Uh, well, how? It's easy. Uh, DF, DY, this one. Uh, this one, uh, I want to change it to y, right? What is y? y is sine 2x. So this one is equal to 1 over cosine square x. That is seeking square, right? And it, yeah. This is a, this is a, this is a what? This is a 2 uh, square root. 1 minus sine square 2x. Well, as I said that my idea is this, change this one into expression of a y. Then I, I, then I can find the f of, f of a y by integrating both sides. Okay. Okay. Uh, This one is called, this is a two, two cosine square. What's, what's, what is, what is a cosine two square? That is a one plus, right? This one is a one, one plus cosine, cosine two X. That is a, this over there. I'm one minus sine square two x. Then I change this one into sine two x, which is y, right? So this one is equal to one one plus one minus then one minus sine square two x. Multiply square root one minus sine square two x. Now let me change it to y. It looks better. So this one is a one one plus a square root one minus y square. And uh, one minus y square. Yeah. Good. See? 
uh, then I can find a f of y by integrating it, right? So before I'm integrating this one, I, sim I simplify a little. Uh, how do I simplify? I multiply by this and conjugate. Well, 1 minus this. 1 minus this. So this one becomes a, the numerator becomes a 1, this. This time this one is a 1 minus 1 minus y squared, right? Time this, y minus. This is a, becomes y squared, huh? So this becomes y squared, 1 minus y squared, huh? This is a one minus <clears throat> now I can find the f of y by integrating this one. Now for integration for this function, I'd better split into two, right? So this becomes this over that one y square. 1 minus y squared, that is the first one, minus uh, 1 over y squared, right? This is a df dy. Now I can find out f of a y by integrating, right? By integrating this y squared minus uh, dy y square uh, out of y square I call this as i1 this is i2 minus <clears throat> well now to integrate it, this uh, dy y square one minus y square. That's easy. You must familiar with the trigonometric substitution, right? Let y be uh, sine theta. Uh, so this one is equal to cosine theta d theta. This is a uh, Sine square theta, right? This is a cosine. <clears throat> then this one is equal to d theta over sine square theta, which is equal to a cosecant square theta d theta. Now this integration is easy to equal negative cotangent theta, right? Yeah. Now, how to find the uh, cotangent theta in terms of y? We'll use triangle. Right? This is triangle. This is theta. Sine theta is y. So one equal to one. So this one is equal to one uh, plus sine theta. So cotangent is equal to no sine theta is y sine theta is y so this is a good one right ah I'm sorry <laughs> this is a uh, one minus okay sine theta is a y over one so this is this then the cotangent theta is becomes uh, this over that is equal to y minus y squared over one. So that's my cotangent. Yeah, that is this one, right? Therefore, my y, f of y, is equal to f of y is equal to i1 minus i2. i1 is this, right? Negative.
uh, I2. This integral is equal to 1 over, uh, one over 1 over y, right? Can you sign? So plus 1 over 1. Yeah, plus c. Okay, I found them. And I'm, I'm, I put them together. Looks better. Y, 1 minus 1 minus y squared plus c. Now, how, how do we find a c? We have to go back. We, we go back to this given equation, right? <clears throat> when, when x is equal to quarter pi, so this will be a 1, right? This will be a 1, which means that f of a 1 is equal to 1 f of a 1 is equal to 1 when x is equal to quarter pi. So that means, uh, well, f of 1, right, is equal to 1 minus 0 or 1 plus c. Equal to 1, right? So c equal to 0. Yeah, c equal to zero. Therefore, f of a f of a y is this, which means the x f of x equal to that, right? So one minus one minus x squared over x. So that is uh, the second method to find this find to find this uh, solution to the equation. Now. Well, these two methods are this, well, this is method of one. Now, this this time method of one is it looks easier, but sometimes that sometimes that method of two is better. It depends on the function. Okay, I I hope you like this. Thank you.